What's up, everybody? This is Sound Off with Sticks. This is Keith Sticks, owner of Tsunami Cables, and I'm here today with my beautiful wife. Hi, everybody. I'm Leilani. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, so we've uh, decided to do <clears throat> this kind of uh, string of podcasts, little videos, and stuff like that. Uh, basically, just describing the company and who we are, what we do, why we do it. All that kind of fun stuff. Yeah. And um, so, babe, what is the next one on the list? So we talked about the family. We talked about artists. You know how the company started. So let's talk about the actual cables. Like, right. what do you have? Like, what types of cables do you have? What are the different levels? I guess what what of cables there is. Right. Okay. Um, yeah. So we have um, basically we do. Anything that's not a digital cable for a musician. So we do um, instrument cables, microphone cables, speaker cables, um, power cables. So cables that would go from an amplifier head to the wall to mm -hmm. actually get power. Um, and on top of that, we actually have just recently started to do um, tattoo cables. So cables yes. that would go plug into the tattoo machine itself. We've both been tattooed with them. Yes, we have. Mm -hmm. And um, so we've been doing those now too. So for all you tattoo artists out there, we've got those for you guys. Um, and then pretty much as far as um, that's kind of the baseline of all of the categories of what we do. And then as far as models go um, within that category, um, we have our standard, our um, next level up would be uh, our tidal wave, and then the next level up from that would be our custom shop. So, our standard, um, the standard tsunami cable. I can, uh, I'll just talk about instrument cables right now because those are the ones that have all three levels. But okay. um, the standard um, tsunami cable, like instrument cable, uh, would be any of our solid colors. So the blue, the red, the green, the orange, whatever, all the solid one color for the cable. Right. Um, it's the same cable on the inside and the same connectors all the way through. So depending on whether it's the standard, the tidal wave, or the custom shop, it's all the same connectors, same cable. So it's basically the same, really truly, it's the same cable all the way through. It's just how pretty it is. It's, and it's all aesthetics after that, yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, instead of having kind of a industry standard of a good, better, best kind of idea. Mm -hmm. um, all of, it's basically for us, it's all best. And then it's really just aesthetics from that point on. So the three levels of our product is all based off of the aesthetics of how it looks, um, but they all perform the same. Okay. So, so it's basically like if you have like a, a nice car, like a, a mm -hmm. Lamborghini. Right. And it just depends on how much money you want to spend on making it look prettier. Right, yeah, exactly, on a custom paint job or new rims or something like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. So that's kind of the idea. Okay. So, um, so yeah, so the standard tsunami cable is going to be all the same, you know, solid one color. Um, tidal wave goes up to our multiple color braids. So mm -hmm. like our, um, like the one I've got right here is a black and green. Um, we're calling that's the Matrix. This. Um, is the Sherbert? That's the Sherbert okay. one, yeah. Um, so there's, uh, but you know, our, the real ones that we have in that category, we have our red, white, and blue, our skunk, which is the black and white. Ooh, the black widow. Um, the black widow, which is a mm -hmm. real popular one, which is the um, black and red mm -hmm. in a like cross type um, stitching. Yeah. And then, um, and then we have a multi braid that's called ogre, which is black and green. And um, I'm trying to think of what else. I think that's. I, think I just hit pretty much all of them. But um, it's so, a chrome. Under Chrome would be under the under the the um, the tidal wave as well. You know, it is one kind of color. It's the it's the chrome color. So and it's a different flashier. braid. It's a little flashier and it's a different braid overall. Um, so that would be in the um, in the tidal wave portion. And then the custom shop is that basic, the next level. that's the next level up. Yeah, that's the next level <laughs> shit right there. So that's the next level that's up. That's like the hot rod of cables. <laughs> Basically, yeah, that's really kind of the mentality. Is um, it, the really the the true point of that is anything and everything you want. So okay. um, on the instrument side, where um, I'm doing all sorts of turned on a lathe, I hand turn them all. Um, connector bodies. So the bodies, it's purely aesthetic, but the bodies. Um, can have like all sorts of crazy different woods and exotic woods to all sorts of different colored resins mm -hmm. and glow in the dark stuff and Money. we've done them. Yeah, I was just gonna say <laughs> we've done the ones where they've got shredded U.S. currency in it. 
um, that also glow in the dark, and um, you know, which is illegal. Once, no, it's not <laughs> illegal. It's not. It's all. It's all perfectly legal. Uh, so you end up getting me in trouble. I'm just joking. So, um, but yeah, and so it's, uh, and then there's, you know, we've done ones that are kind of a hybrid of like a wood and the resin mixed together, different things like that. So there's lots of different options and pretty much the world's your oyster in that sense. And we've got anything and everything you could think of. Um, so that is is on the custom shop side and then also custom, you know, some of the, we can do some different color options as well on the custom stuff. Um, and, and then also a big one is custom sizes. So you can get out of our standard sizes from everything else. And if you need a three and a half foot cable or a 50 and a you know, third or something or something mm -hmm. weird, I don't know, you need something odd shape size, um, then that would be under the custom shop. And we can definitely do that. So what is like the craziest like custom order you have received so far? Um, probably the money one, okay. I would guess. Um, because that um, will also glow in the dark, right? Yeah, so that actually came from every once in a while. I get some really cool artists that, um, and well, customers really, but they're obviously they're artists. Um, but customers that come in and um, where <clears throat> they have a vision of what they want, mm -hmm. and um, they they kind of leave it open to me. But it's kind of this is my idea of generally of what I wanted. And that artist in particular had a um, a bass cabinet. He was a bass player. Had a bass cabinet that was um, hot pink on the outside, and then the grill for the cabinet was a like slime lime green color. Okay. And so, and it was very like um, I don't know if it's like late '80s or early '90s, but it's kind of like the skater kind of like a skater punk, like it was kind of a, a big color combination. It was like a slime green and neon pink combo together. And so he was really into that. Oh, yeah. And so um, he wanted hot pink cables, so we did hot pink cables for him. And then he wanted to incorporate the neon green at some point into it. And um, I managed to find the um, blanks that actually had the U.S. currency in the resin of it, mm -hmm. and they were also glow in the dark. For and that was that lime green glow in the dark. So that in itself kind of gave it the green aspect to it. Um, he, I pitched him, you know, told him, you know, said, "Look, this is what I found. This is what I'm thinking. What do you think?" And he absolutely loved the idea, and that's where we went with it, and that was pretty cool. Right. So, cool. yep. Um, so on an average, like on a custom cable, mm -hmm. what's like the average time for you to actually make it? Um, it depends. Um, normally, I, on uh, with everything else that's going on with the company and stuff like that, I normally I, you know, normally tell people on orders that it's about two to three wait period. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sorry, two to three week wait period on that, um, and that's really just due to being able to source the material if I don't already have it. Um, so I can get it, find it, get it in, um, get it shipped, depending on where it is, whether it's in the States or even in the world. Um, and some woods and things like that only come from certain places. Some woods you have to get, you know, it's, it's, it's some of that stuff's pretty difficult to get and find. Yeah, I remember mm -hmm. having to go on yeah, trips. trips. <laughs> yeah, trips. <laughs> search for certain things. Search for wood and stuff. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, um, so that, and then, uh, you know, I mean, the, the lathing process and doing all of that um, really only comes down to the cutting of, you know, doing the, the whole process as a whole um, for a set of connectors takes, you know, probably about four to six hours, just kind of depends on, really on the material. Mm -hmm. um, some material, there's been certain times where I've had to make, you know, six connectors just to get two that work you know, that are up to my standards and work well and that look good and, and all that kind of stuff, you know, blow through, you know, two feet of material to yeah. get, you know, a, a two and, and a half lot inch. a of bad language. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you hear me outside yeah. cussing and throwing stuff and yeah, when stuff goes wrong, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure our neighbors have a couple of connectors in their backyard somewhere. <laughs> so, um, for me throwing stuff all over the place, but... Yeah, and um, but it's you know what I, I love it because it's different, it's fun, and it's really a way for me to artistically kind of express certain things and just go go nuts and have a good time and and it's it is it's a blast. I love doing it. The response is great. You know, they look beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, thank you. 
And um, yeah, so that's really kind of where that's at. Um, and then, you know, like I said, as far as, you know, we do, you know, like I said, we do all, you know, speaker cables, the speak on to, you know, quarter inch or quarter inch to quarter inch or speak on to speak on, you know, that kind of stuff. Power cables, we're doing the um, IEC, which is kind of like the computer plug type uh, okay. power plug, but that's what goes into most amps into the standard like three prong for, you know, grounded plug for like your wall in the U.S. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> and... Um, and then, you know, microphone cables, we do do like balanced instrument cables. So that would be uh, getting a little nerdy. This is getting into like TRS quarter, quarter inch for like recording studio stuff. We've done some stuff for um, some of our artists that do a lot of recording and doing like patch based stuff and then, and, you know, cables for that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, so really anything that's non-digital, so non-MIDI cables, we don't do MIDI cables, we don't do USB cables or... Um, light pipe or any of that kind of stuff. We we just do more of the analog based cables. So cool. yeah, so that's pretty much what we do. And and really, if anybody has any questions, and our website as a whole has, I would say probably seventy five percent of what we do on it. But if you're on our website and you don't see something that you're looking for, or you have a custom option, or you have something that you want that you don't see please email us, please send me an email, send us, contact us through social media, and uh, we'll be happy to take care of you. So if you have a dream cable, yes. you are the man to do it. I'm the man. There you go. You dream <laughs> it, he'll build it. There you go. Awesome. All right, thanks everybody.